All right, welcome back, F1 Manager Nation. My name has changed, but this is F1 Manager Legend. And welcome to my first account. This is my legendary account, let me show you. There I am, up in Legend. I don't really play this one that much um, because I spend most of my time on my, my uh, playthrough account. But there I am, up in Legend. And you notice in the Legendary account, there is no demotion. So once you make it here, you are here. You don't got to worry about getting demoted down. And I'm just going to open some crates. So as you guys can see, I don't get any assets with any of my common uh, drivers or common parts. So once you get, um, let's go to my driver stats, level seven, Perez and a level 10 Grosjean and there you can see all of my drivers that are blue are all level 10 and as high as some of these other drivers are like Leclerc I still don't use them um, look I have a upgraded Kubica I still don't use him Nico Hulkenberg is level 2 I will never use him I don't even know why he's an epic. Max Verstappen. Very poor tire management. You guys know I can't handle that. Pierre Gasly. His stats are okay, but compared to Grosjean, not even close. Carlos Sainz. No tire management. Valtteri Botas. Problem with Valtteri is he can't pass anybody so when you're at the end of the race and he's in the lead and you have Grosjean behind when you send them both on high power Grosjean will catch up to Valtteri Botas because Valtteri Botas gets stuck behind cars um Kimi Raikkonen his tire management is horrible Sebastian Vettel is a pretty solid driver Um, at level four, he's, he's, he's usable, but his wet weather ability is going to come into play if it rains. Kevin Magnuson. He's usable. He's usable. The reason why I would use him is because of his defending. So, um, if you have a fast, a really, like Grosjean and Magnuson, um, I think a lot of the times Magnuson is going to be behind Grosjean and you can just use him to block. There's my Hamilton. Pretty solid, but I don't use him. And there's Sergio Perez. Real solid guy. Fuel management's a little bit low, but it's okay. And here's my car. You can see everything has been upgraded fully. And I think. Yeah, so you can see I have the best available on my car. Because nothing else is going to do, do me any better. Oh, I lied. I can put this one on.
Okay, my new assets are the block. I know if I upgrade this, it's only going to give me like two assets. I'm not going to make up 11. So it's not worth spending the money. To me, that's just me personally. And here is my livery. As you guys can see, I did purchase one of the special liveries. I like this one. And let's cut to a race. So as you can see, I have 1.6 billion coins. Um, there's really like no need. I mean, that's not true. I actually go back and I do some of these races just because I like to see my cars go around the, the tracks. But once I got to Series 7 where I was winning, I just, I just played Series 7 races like all the time. I never played any other ones. Oh, Lane Paul, I'm sorry. Lane Paul, I apologize for this L you're about to take.
high power and you have four and you don't take the power down and you just drive the I don't know about your drive, my drive is like a four. if you're lucky. Nothing. 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 Something. Something. So, once you get to this level, um, it's really not worth buying any of the crates. I'm gonna spend, you know, what, real world money for... What was that? Three, three to four assets that I don't need. Or aren't going to give me anything. So, um, I don't know about the rest of you guys that are this level or this high. Or if anybody is this level, this high. Um, but I think a lot of people lose interest once they get to this point. Because it kind of stinks. You spend all this time and you don't get anything in return. But I know they need to make their money somehow. You can see they rarely give you any of the um, epic assets. So I don't know. I probably have to play for another two years before I can fill up all the epics. Well, let's get to another race. So on this account, I normally just play um, until I fill up all my crates and then I stop playing. Until I have a couple slots open for crates. Um, there was a time when I just kept playing. And I just you know, didn't care about the crates, but I kept messing out on platinums and, um, and uh, legendary crates. 
plates, and those ones definitely, I think they both give you like two epics. So. Anwar Esteban Valderrama Esteban Valderrama. All right, man, I hope you're ready for this L. Um, so my fastest way around this track is a 3-3-2. Three, three,
just passes. Mercedes, so the boss has a double podium. Can you get first and second? Doesn't look like it. did a good job with where he finished, fifth and seventh. So he's not going to keep his coins, but he's going to get closer to that race grade, which is what you really want. What? They max out at eight? So what the heck do the epics max out at? Four? Five? Oh my goodness, dude. Now I'm going to start getting repeat oranges. Ah! <laughs> hmm. Boy, that kind of, uh... Puts a wrench and everything. I thought I had two more levels, three more levels on the uh, on the orange. So it's just like the drivers, there's some parts that you're never going to use. I don't think I ever used the WTWT. I used the shredder at one point. But the streamer, I, I don't think I'm ever going to need it. I don't know, Hutch. I think you dropped the ball on that one. All right, let's do one more race. Okay, cool. I get to do all three races. Normally, I have to repeat the same race three, four times. This is going to be a good race. I can tell you guys already. Hey, it's Lane Paul again. Maybe not. If I 
go four laps, I'm not going to be able to separate my drivers. Huge mistake. The tires just went off the edge right there. Boom. Huge mistake. My guys are just going to pass her like she's standing still. And now here comes all of the other competitors. Dropping, dropping, dropping. So I'm going to hold on to that podium. Oh, Lane, you kept the podium. Good job. 
If you would have pit Perez, he would have been able to finish stronger. I know he still had a fuel to burn on that last lap. If you would have pit him, you would have been able to get him all those positions that you do the rest. Lane, that was a good race until that fatal mistake. Alright guys, that's uh that's my legendary account. Uh there were some doubters on my uh my YouTube page saying that there's no way it was possible I could have that much money, but there it is, 1.6 billion. Um That's how dominant I was I when I first started playing this game, like and that's the main reason why I started making the videos, because I just noticed people making those same mistakes over and over, and I knew it must have been frustrating to keep getting passed up on the last corner, or the last lap, you know, having to pit or your tires running bald. So I decided to share my strategy um, and show you guys basically how to play the game. I, I hope you, I, well, I know you guys are enjoying it because of my responses. Um, the people that have subscribed. People that have have subscribed, let me uh let me name drop all the new people today. Prayag Josie commented that he started playing this game a week ago and already on series seven, thanking me. Um, Wayne Collins commented. Let me tell you guys a little bit about Wayne Collins. Wayne Collins was one of my arch nemesis in this game. Um, on my legendary account, on this account, I've, I've faced him so many times. And at first I beat him, but I think he watched, you know, because our cars were kind of close. So I think he watched what I was doing on the close-up screen to see when I was giving gas and stuff. And I didn't face him for a while. I stopped playing. When I came on, he just, dude, he just started handing it to me. And it, it I got to tell you, Wayne, you used to piss me off, man. <laughs> you used to get me a lot. So thanks for the competition. Uh, competition makes you stronger. Um, Jan Gabriel, Jan, that's probably Jan, Jan Gabriel Reyes. A uh, new subscriber from the Philippines. Um, he's having issues with the wet season. I got videos showing how to handle the rain. Uh, I got a new subscriber, Green Garden, who also commented. Told me his favorite track is Red Bull Ring. And he's from Canada. Uh, Martin, I'm sorry, Marin Atanasov. Marin Atanasov, new subscriber. Um, Lucas Vidal commented back. Thanks, Lucas, for keeping in touch. His favorite track is Brazil. And Oli Duvhawk. He wants to know, how do I play with my friends in this game? Um, that's the only thing. It, it randomly picks. It randomly picks your um, rivals, so you don't have any control over that. Um, however, if you and your friends stay in the same, um, if you stay in the same division, if you stay in the same division, sometimes they'll put you in the same uh, league. I'm sorry, if you stay in the same league, sometimes they'll put you in the same division. Um, you don't really have any control over that. I, I apologize. Um, Bogol Jube Georgievich. I mentioned him in my last video. Um, he's the one. I, I finally figured out what he was trying to say. He said, how can you, with Junior One first, have so much money 
and other how open other expensive tracks that you can't do until common big league you lie can't have that much money boom there it is 1.6 billion i am not a liar spencer moberg new subscriber thank you very much and i think that's it so yeah that's all my new comments and subscriptions again it was really good to hear from wayne collins and uh yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, please subscribe. The subscriptions are what keeps me going. Um, I believe I'm up to almost 200 now. I am up to 196. 196 subscribers, and I love each and every one of you guys, and I'm so glad to hear that um, my hints and tips are working. Um, I'm really pleased to hear that you guys are having success at this game. That's the main reason why I put these videos out there. And as you guys can see with my second account, I don't steamroll people the way I do with my legendary account. So I'm not sure if you guys are finding that the competition is pretty even. Um, but it seems like you guys are still going up against a lot of people that don't have any clue how to actually play this game. They're kind of just like guessing. They throw tires on at weird times. They try to race at weird times. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. And I will definitely keep downloading some stuff. Um, I got, let me see. What's today's question? Today's question is... If you could have any six drivers in history race on one race, tell me the six drivers you would like to see race against each other as well as what track you would like to see them race on. There, that's today's question. All right, guys, I got to get to work. Actually, I got to go pick up my son. Um, yeah, so aloha and ahui ho until next time.